come back to wicked tarantulas. So, Goliath has not molted yet. She's getting a little bit closer. All my Phonopoma simanis, when they molt, it takes 90, 180 plus days to molt. She actually ate yesterday, so she isn't refusing to eat. So that means it's still maybe a long while. This is her final molt. This is the molt where her capius will get much larger. So I can't wait to see that. So I kind of redid her, her exhibit just slightly for those who remember how I do my enclosures for them. I try to make it lifelike, natural. So I had to put a different bowl in there because the bowl I had in there that was supposed to be made for water, well, I guess the way it was made, it was losing water exceptionally fast. Hence, that's why the substrate is so dark over there. So what I did is I tested this bowl and another bowl and I left them both in the exhibit for three days. This bowl was still basically full. The other bowl was completely empty. And when I picked up the bowl, it was soaked and there was no crack. So I'm thinking the little spores from it being made, it was slowly leaking. You can't have that for Goliath. She needs to have her water. I added some ivy in there for her. And now she's nestled up with the ivy instantly. As you see, Littlefoot is still kicking it. He's still, he's still around with us, which makes me extremely happy. He hasn't lost any more hair on his butt, so which means he may not be stressed as much. Um, he did not eat for me the other day, but I was making him eat two times a week for a while because he was getting extremely skinny. So I tried to plump him up, and it actually worked. His rump is a lot larger than what it was. He does not use his hanging hide on the inside, but he did build a web on the back of his hanging hide, and he utilizes the top, the back, and the sides but he has not actually physically used the hanging hide, which that's okay. He's still using it in some form of way. So he's still got all his thousands of sticks. And then you see him chilling right there. He's sleeping. I would pet him, but I don't want to stress him out right now. He's finally resting. So that's what Littlefoot's doing. And then today I changed the bedding in my Asian Forest Scorpion Rico's exhibit. And I dropped the substrate amount because he does not burrow, he does not dig, he just uses the hide and utilizes it pretty well. So it cleaned everything up, put a couple plants in there because I was finally able to. And now he is happily resting in the front of the skeleton's head, whatever kind of skeleton head it is. So he's happy. And then here is Carl Diago. Carl Diago has a very good appetite has not refused to eat once, although I don't see him unless I turn the exhibit a full 180 and I peek through his little hole. All right, and then in here is my juvenile Ophonopoma simani suspect male. He completely closed off his burrow on the right side of the screen. So I had to poke a hole through the top of the hide to get feeders in there because I wanna make sure he's eating. His hair on his abdomen is starting to get a little rough, minus all the dirt, which is typically what happens with this one before he starts to enter pre-molt stages. And this one does not eat when it's close to molting. And then in this exhibit, you have cactus. Sorry, I have to think because I have two, two of these beautiful fluffy guys and I have the exhibit set up a certain way so I don't get myself confused on who is who. So this is cactus. Loving his tank. Very good. Fed him three crickets the other day. Yes, I feed him a lot, but they haven't ate for a while. And then this exhibit is curls. Sorry, correction. This is cactus. That is curls. Curls has red. Cactus has a jungle. Literally a jungle. So I got it cleaned up a little bit today. Got some of the water spots off. Not very many. He also ate a couple crickets the other night. Webbing everything up living life to the fullest so he's doing good had to take some of the substrate out of my pac-man frogs tank because it was like exceptionally high like that's a lot of substrate i had it like up to here and he wasn't getting his food so therefore i took some of it out that way i am able to feed him and in this enclosure is cookie my other Palma simani and he is Hiding, kinda. You can see his legs. 
He took three crickets the other night. Here's good old Christine out and about first thing this morning, which is unusual for her because typically she's sleeping about this time. She's made like a web. She's webbed everything. Like the glass is webbed up. All the plants are webbed up. She's got everything booby trapped. And she's webbing again. She is an amazing eater. She took two crickets the other night. Always setting traps. Good old Christine. Very active red rump. Very beautiful. And in this corner is my fully matured female. This is Bigfoot, my pink toe. And she hasn't really made a web just that little bit. I think she's comfortable with all this ivy and decor I put in because she hides in it. So she's doing good. She eats only once a month. And I leave the cricket in there and she will hunt it down. And in this one is my freshly rehoused carabina hiding over there in the corner. Carabina freshly rehoused and looking small in the container because she's bunched up or he. And in this little teeny tiny enclosure is my straight horn baboon, which you cannot, I can see, barely see the butt through that opening right in the center of your screen. Barely see it. But I do crush the cricket's head and I put it in there and they do come out and they suck off of it. Now this thing's been exceptionally busy. The webbing is crazy. I mean, it goes all the way up. I already have the new enclosure set up and sitting behind it. So after it molts one more time, it will be rehoused. And then in this enclosure is my OBT, a little cycle, which you cannot see him whatsoever. He made a burrow that goes under the core bark. He has molted. His molt was actually in his old hide. So here soon, I will be rehousing him into a different enclosure, a little bit bigger so he can stay in there longer. And yet again, there is the other enclosure set up and ready. So it's just a matter of when I'm gonna rehouse him. And when my straight horn baboon molts, then I'll give it a several weeks and I'll rehouse that one. Got some much better bedding for Garfield, our Syrian long-haired hamster. And she or he is definitely burrowed. Much larger enclosure and it loves it. And then here you have Spidey, my third metallic pink toe tarantula. And uh, he's balled up right now. He's about to move. And he has been utilizing his enclosure like crazy. Very good eater. I fed him last night and he tried to take my feeder tongs. I had to wait until he realized they were not food. So, really hasn't made much of a web because he's been using all of the enclosures, all of the decor to hide in. And then in here is my... Asian Forest Scorpion. This is the first one I got, and this is Scorpio. She's out chilling, relaxing. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching another one of Wicked Tarantula's videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Remember to smile today and make somebody else smile. It's very, very important.